Hey guys and welcome back. Today is Monday and so for supper we are going to have leftover beef tender chuck roast in a gravy with some rice of course. Corn. We have a little bit of cabbage left so that's not going to go very far. And then a pickled cucumber salad. It's like an Asian thing that I eat on the Chinese buffet. It is kind of sweet, kind of spicy. A little vinegary. Um, I didn't really follow a recipe. I just threw some sweet chili sauce and vinegar and salt and water all together. Threw my cucumbers in there. It's good. So anyway, come along. Oh, and the last thing, the most important thing that I forgot to mention, the one thing you got to see me make, it's a variation of a Pioneer Woman recipe. I don't remember what it's called. She used red tomatoes, but not tomatoes potatoes um, I used yellow skin potatoes um, however much you think you need to feed your family um, I used one red and one yellow sweet bell pepper I don't like the green it's bitter but I do use it like in gravies and stuff one onion a tablespoon or so of minced garlic uh, seasoned to taste and then I melted a stick of uh, the salted sweet cream butter the real stuff not that stick wax or whatever um, and a little bit of olive oil stir it all together throw it in the oven so this is that pioneer woman recipe I was talking about um, you know I made this years ago and we loved it so I've made it since but I haven't made it in quite a while and one of my kids was asking for it the other day. So I figured since I had the stuff for it, I would go ahead. So, like I said, yellow potatoes, um, bell pepper and onion. However much you like. Um, I really like the bell peppers and onions just as much as the potato. So I kind of go heavy on it. Um, if your kids or your family doesn't like the onions and bell peppers as much, use less or, I mean, whatever, leave them out, you know. But what makes this so good is the stick of butter that you melt in there. And then I think I forgot to mention when I was talking about the seasonings that I do put red pepper flakes in there. And um, with the garlic, uh, the minced garlic. And that, that is just so good. I do also use like, um, like Tony's, um, because, you know, I don't know. I see some people cook with just salt and pepper and I'm curious how that tastes, but I'm not brave enough to try it. So every time I cook, I use Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, red pepper, and sometimes black pepper and i know most of or all of those seasonings are in the tonys but i still use them with the tonys it's just what i do it's what we're used to so anyway like i said you throw this all in a pan you bake it till it's done i stir it periodically to be sure that it's not getting um too stuck to the bottom um, because that can happen i've had it happen where i've overcooked it a little bit uh we still ate it you know um but uh, if everything is tender without being crisp, that's how I prefer it. But if you do overcook it, like your onions may be a little crispy, um, yeah, it's still good. I mean, whatever. Different strokes for different folks, but I prefer it if I can catch it before it gets to that point. And I just want to point out that the smaller you cut your ingredients, the faster it will cook. And the bigger you cut your ingredients, the longer it will cook. I mean, I know that's kind of obvious, but I thought that I would point that out just in case. So I try to cut everything um, like one inch cube, maybe even smaller. And I'd cut the onions and bell peppers about the same or maybe a little bigger than the potatoes because they obviously cook faster, but still pretty much bite size.
Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy about everything that was on our mind talking to you gave me butterflies then you took my hand said let's leave now Okay, this is that cucumber salad. Um, I still had some in there, but I knew it would get eaten, so I just added the fresh cucumbers to it. Um, I actually did this for a few nights until I felt like my, you know, vinegar, um, sweet pepper chili sauce was getting kind of flavorless, so I dumped it out and made some more. But anyway, um, I like the mini cucumbers from walmart um i really love fresh cucumbers from the garden however a lot of times they have huge seeds and i do not like the seeds so i buy these mini cucumbers but i will say that um, they are a little pricey so what i did was on my pickup order i ordered regular cucumbers and i will say that the person who did my shopping picked excellent cucumbers they were big and you know very green they were very like ripe and when i cut into them because i was like you know the little cucumbers are mine y'all can have the big ones um there the seeds were tiny and so well here i am leaving one of the little ones out for my husband because he doesn't like it with the sweet um the sweet chili sauce so i was just cutting him a plain one because he likes it with um some salt and pepper and um obviously you know the the longer that the cucumbers stay in that vinegary sauce the better they do taste so the ones that i just cut tonight weren't that great i mean they were good but like 
by the next day, they're really good. So here comes the finished plate and it was delicious. Good morning. So today I'm starting early. I have the kids fluffy bread out of the freezer so that it can fall and rise. And then we're going to have a baked ham, probably with some green beans and mashed potatoes. Excuse the noise, that's my dishwasher because it didn't get ran last night. And then because my husband doesn't eat meat, or he doesn't like real meat, he's going to have this. So come back later as we get it all together. So you just saw me getting the ham in the oven and now I'm going to peel, this is brown potatoes, russet potatoes um, that I'm going to use to make the mashed potatoes. Um, we all like instant potatoes honestly, but the flavor of fresh, um, you know, real potato, mashed potatoes is really good. So I figured since I had plenty of potatoes, I would go ahead and do it this way this time um, and also because it's just so fast doing it in the instant pot and it's still just one pot because you know you mix it all up in this pot once it's done so yeah I just decided to go ahead and do that tonight and then we're gonna have some macaroni and cheese with this as well because that's about the only side dish my kids will eat uh, look at her she wants a slice of raw potato <laughs> This kid, y'all, I can't even explain how weird she is when it comes to eating. She'll eat raw potatoes before cooked potatoes. And she only eats carbs. She doesn't eat meat. Anyway, I could go on. Um, now, I have another one digging in the potatoes. <laughs> but, oh, and now she took the um, the hush puppies. <laughs> those were for Bo. And I told her, I said, don't let him know you ate those because he's going to have a fit which we do have more in the freezer to be cooked if um if he would have came back asking for them but he never did thankfully so but anyway here i am looking real quick how long to cook the potatoes because i forgot how long i needed to cook them for um oh look that bread yum anyway um i did learn that i took my bread out too early in the morning so it had risen so high that when i peeled all like it had stuck to the um, saran wrap that I had buttered and put across the top so I pulled it off really slow but that still did affect it you can see how some of it fell down a little bit um, it didn't affect the taste however it does affect the texture because when they get that big the inside is kind of like airy and so and then it falls back down and so then you have like empty i don't know the edges were crispy and then i had put the butter on and i think i put like i don't know maybe the bottom of the bread wasn't quite cooked enough but between either not being cooked enough or this butter that i'm gonna pour on top of here when i'm done um something caused the bottom of the bread to still feel not quite done like yeasty um and so i had stuck it back in for a little bit longer trying to cook the bottom but it really didn't all it did was make the the tops and edges crispy which is actually good and um the bottom was still kind of soft and 
the inside was airy but anyway it's not really a fail it's kind of a flop it was still good it all got eaten but I think next time in fact you know in a little bit when I'm through with this I'm gonna go take some out for tonight and um, it's already almost noon right now so that's gonna give it about four or five hours to thaw and rise so I think that should work out good
side Maybe we can be friends when you're not so fragile When you know yourself well Somewhere down the sweet line When I do things for me Cause I don't wanna be, be a therapy I wanna be free, so Ooh, gotta go and grab a spoon now Ooh, make a life for myself Ooh, I don't know what I'm gonna do now Ooh, but I don't need your help Get out of my way I'm sad to say that we lost a um, what's for dinner or what's for supper for um, I think Saturday night uh, my daughter had cooked I forgot what it was called um, I'll have to find the recipe off Pinterest and I'll um, I'll pop it up here somewhere but um, it was a shrimp and sausage pasta um, she had cooked that and she recorded on her phone. It was over an hour's worth of footage, so we could not airdrop it to my phone. Um, I may try again, but we tried it two or three times that night and it would not come on over to my phone. So that pretty much means that this is the end of this video and join us next week for another week of what's for supper have a good day oh and by the way it's the fourth of july today so happy fourth stay safe <laughs>